So hello everyone and thank you Dan for handing over to the highlight of Thursday of the Expo Day 8. We're coming to the very essence of Startup Autobahn, which is the core, is the collaboration between corporates and startups. So we're talking about open innovation. So my name is Christian. I'm heading the company building unit of Porsche Digital and I have four wonderful minds with me here in the panel. And they all have, some of them have pretty complicated names. So I save my time and also they have great titles. So we also save that time a little bit. Um, but when you start, um, you can maybe introduce yourself a little bit, but I have here in the panel Gandat from ZF. Um, I have Felix from Daimler. I have Frederike from uh, Wienland and Ursula from Matheson. Hi everyone and welcome to our wonderful panel today. Um, our topic today is open innovation and I think it's a crucial topic um, not only for corporates but especially for startups and I want to start with Gandat basically. So um, mm -hmm. in the pre-discussion you basically mentioned um, what you're doing that you're in charge of the startup collaborations from ZF side but there was a crucial um, detail you have given me that you worked in a startup yourself. So can you tell yeah. me if you would be in a startup again, why would you join Startup Autobahn? What is so attractive about this platform? There's one, it's an ecosystem. It's a global ecosystem. So as a startup, you always look for um, your clients, your first paying client. And that's something we did as well uh, many years ago was um, from the start, from the point you're developing prototypes, you're testing them together with clients which have a great access to the market. So that's what those anchor partners or those partners has within the, within the ecosystem of plug and player startup Autobahn is uh, they have a great access to the market and they can be your first launching customer. So as for a startup, that's very, very exciting to be part of that ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so Felix, you just mentioned Daimler initiated this platform. Um, seriously, Daimler is one of the biggest car players. You could have done that alone. Why create a platform with all the other guys and all the people here in the, in the panel as well? Yeah, thank you, Christian, for that question. Um, when we founded Startup Autobahn four years ago, we said, okay, we need to, the startups to come here to Stuttgart. And as most startups know Mercedes-Benz as a brand, not all of them know Daimler. And especially not do all know where Stuttgart is located at. Because what we always have to explain is it's north of Munich and south of Berlin. So what <laughs> the intention was is to create a unique ecosystem that the startup, which is attractive enough for the startups to actually sit in a plane and come from Australia to Stuttgart to meet us as, a, as an ecosystem and us as, a cor as corporate partners together. And what we see here is that we have a uniqueness, we have competitors, uh, Mercedes and Porsche, for example, we have tier one, tier two suppliers. So what we have is the entire ecosystem in the supply chain combined together within corporates on the platform, which makes it so great. Thank you, Felix. So maybe switch a little bit the perspective because um, Gandan and Felix basically highlighted the perspective, um, what's in for a startup, but now maybe also look a little bit on the corporate side, um, because sometimes you see also startups pretty much from the corporate side. Um, maybe Frederike, you're wor working basically um, on the venturing end, and I'm pretty sure you have a large deal flow. You also look in Startup Autobahn into several startups. And from my experience, uh, for example, last year I was at the Web Summit, I got approached pretty often by startups that basically said, hey, want to have a coffee? And that was basically all of the message. And they, then we were wondering basically why I didn't answer. So what is the right way how to approach a corporate or how uh, does a corporate want to get approached in the right way? What would you would say to that? So I think the core of what a startup should really kind of emphasize in their first contact is how they can help us. And um, I guess each partner on this platform is super specialized. So we are in copper and semi-finished goods, which is like, you know, something really special. 
And um, if you have this like broad AI use case, for example, where you can, I don't know, analyze text and, you know, help our departments, that doesn't really differentiate you from anyone else out there. Because from when you read like just a tagline, most of the startups in that area can do it. So if you approach me with something where I can actually relate to, maybe you know a problem of my industry or of my business already and you help you you come to me, tell me you can solve it, that's something when I'll my ears will open up and we might actually go for that coffee. So you would drink actually coffee then? Uh, once we're post, you know <laughs> stuff, yes. <laughs> That, that's stage number two, after, uh, when you manage stage number one. Okay, got it. Um, then Ursula, um, we heard you got an evo uh, award for collaboration between several corporates. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? And can you tell me also what was really a problem with your partners? And I know Porsche was also one of them, but uh, what was basically a big challenge and what was a big surprise in a positive way? Well, uh, first of all, we are very happy to get the award. This is a, a special thing for us. And I have to say here, what is the problem with your partners is a wrong statement because we are <laughs> in fact very happy to have the partners. That was our goal from the beginning because we believe that the bigger collaboration, cross collaboration, where apart from startups, we include other tier suppliers as well as OEMs, is allowing us to have a fuller supply chain solution. And, and that's the solution that startups are also looking for. So uh, that was very important. Of course, it's difficult to get all these people together and the processes may be a little bit longer, but it pays at the end. Okay. So what, was there anything where you say it was surprising that you didn't expect from the beginning? Um, I think it's uh, sometimes uh, difficult to, to get through to the right people. It's difficult to uh, get the collaboration going on and uh, get everyone on the same page. Sometimes you just have to work a little bit to gain the trust from all the sides. And uh, one, we know that we are working towards a common goal. I think it's working well. Okay. Um, I think it's a very important thing that you say because finding the right person, I think the people we are currently having on the panel are the champions of Startup Autobahn. These are exactly the catalysts and facilitators of open innovation. So when you are a startup, these are the right persons to approach. Um, mm. So maybe Gandhat, um, also coming back to you, because I think the interesting uh, part of your CV is basically being in a startup, now being in a corporate. Um, you have been in a corporate that now got bought by ZF. Um, and in both activities, you basically pushed for uh, joining Startup Autobahn as a platform. So what made it so attractive for you in the end? Um, and was there anything, if you compare it to your old startup life, now being in a corporate where you say, um, or, or does it influence somehow the decision uh, of yours to join this initiative? Um, yeah, there are a few questions that I try to remember and try to answer them. <laughs> um, in the end, uh, it, it always starts with, with with the people, uh, with, with finding the right people to, to work with, eh? um, that can realize uh, the, the mutual goal. Um, so what for me, it's, as, as a corporate now, it's attractive eh, to, to work with startups as well, is to, to, to get extra people inside the company. Eh? They bring, up, again, a new knowledge, uh, new insights, and also new energy eh, into our uh, innovation process. So that, that's important uh, to get that, that those new insights um, inside the company. Um, and, and the key aspect there is, again, to find the right people to work with. Yeah, not, not everyone is willing to work with, with, with a startup because it can be unclear, it can be high risk, yeah, the outcome can be not true or not, cannot be there. So the willingness yeah, to, to, to take those risks is, 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 is very important. And also the willingness to, to fail eh, should be there eh? um, and try to fail very quickly because that's, that's something we would like to do. Eh? Failing quickly is also failing uh, cheap eh, as well. Um, coming from, from, from an, um, a startup environment, now being in a corporate, for me it's quite attractive 
to be back in that kind of startup atmosphere. And that's also where um, I bring also my, my, my value towards the corporate because I know how, how corporate is talking and you have a certain language. And I do know how startups are talking with each other and it's completely different. And uh, being part of both words, words in, my, in my career, I can link both uh, uh, types of groups and types of people. And that's my added value in this, uh, in this whole uh, system or in, in, this whole, um, in the, those whole activities. Perfect. Thank you. And you just highlighted basically having fun in interaction with startups. So, Frederico, why did you choose your job? And did you choose your role as champion by free will? Or was it more like, okay, it's a career step somehow? Oh, we don't see. Yeah, continue. After um, finishing university, I ended up living in London and this job I kind of got into was also in a startup. So from there, I kind of like evolved from startup to innovation hubs. And then when I finally relocated, I think Wieland was actually one of the very few companies in the southern German Ulmer region that actually offered <laughs> roles and had like, you know, this vehicle actually so for me, it was pretty clear that um, I want to work on this kind of like edge of corporate startup collaboration, knowing both sides. Um, I think each side has something to offer. And if we can merge them, that's like basically where you can really influence something as well. Perfect. Um, Ursula, what can you influence in interaction with a startup? Uh, well, what I can influence is uh, basically, as I said, I, I'm the contact person for the startup. So uh, all my efforts are going to give the proper evaluation to the technologies that are being introduced to us and find the proper and the right doors for the startups within our organization. Motherson is a global tier one supplier. It's really difficult for the startup to address the right person with a very specific technology. So. That's my job to, uh, to find a way and to enable uh, new technologies coming to the mobility market. Thank you. And finally, Felix, how do you find the way for a startup? If I'm a startup and approach you, how do you find the way for me? Very good question, Christian, because I mean, at, I would say I get 10 to 15 LinkedIn messages per day and um, I don't have an appointment blocked every day to read all those messages. So I think this was also what Friederike was saying. How do you approach a corporate? I think you need the wow. You need something that catches my mind, like texting me, hey, I saw you're on Startup Autobahn. Um, let's have a call. Is definitely not something where I say, oh yeah, you're one of the 15 I want to contact and get in contact with. It's something that is unique. It's something that is about your company that if you answer your why and it is interesting for us, then we will definitely have a, have a good approach in the beginning and then definitely have something where I say, yes, we need to forward you to our experts. Cool, very good wrap up. So we have a little bit more than one minute left and I want to finalize the round with a little game. So really speed up with a very quick answer. I start a sentence and you complete the sentence very fast without thinking too long. So we start with Frederike. Startup Autobahn is the coolest innovation platform because of? Amazing partners that are on it. Thank you. Then Ursula. Uh, Startup Autobahn is the most cutting edge technology innovation platform because of? It's reaching the startups and companies globally. So it's always the best match. Thank you. And then uh, we continue with Gundert. Startup Autobahn is the most colorful innovation platform because of? People, it's all about the people. That was somehow fitting now to what you said. <laughs> so Felix, now you get of course the toughest exercise in the final <laughs> game. So Startup Autobahn is the funniest innovation platform because of? It's all about you, the startups, which are always <laughs> fun and having and having the most exciting meetings. Um, thank you. 
Okay, we are straight to the point. It's 10 seconds left. And with this, I thank you all the panelists. Have a good time and I give back to Dan. Thank you so much and enjoy the further sessions. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.